Our top story tonight, some families in Fairfield asking the Board of Ed in Fairfield to include Muslim holidays on the school calendar. News 12 Connecticut's Karen Pinto caught up with students who are leading the charge and she joins us now from the newsroom. Karen. Eric and Roxanne, families are asking for Eid al Fitr and Eid al Adha to both be recognized and asking for Eid al Fitr as a school holiday. Other towns in Connecticut like Bridgeport and New Haven have supported adding the Muslim holidays to their calendar. My friends ask me, you don't celebrate Christmas or Yom Kippur, what do you celebrate? I celebrate Eid al Fitr and Eid al Adha and they usually have no clue what it is. About 40 students spoke to the Board of Education in Fairfield about the importance of their holidays. I was asking for my religious holiday off because usually we don't have it all. First grader Zara Fadl says the end of Ramadan is celebrated with food and family at their Eid al Fitr celebration. There's this prayer called Maghrib and you can eat after Maghrib. So what you have to pray that and then you'll eat, and then it, they will, the celebrating will start. She's got some ideas about ways to incorporate the Muslim holiday at school. The flag is a moon, so I would like it would be fun if we did a little craft of a moon. Third grader Perry Solomon agrees. Um, maybe a teacher could read a book about it. We see family, we see friends. Uh, we get uh, gifts and we give gifts. High schooler Yahel Hassan says the Muslim population continues to grow and acknowledging their religious holidays in the school system would allow for more inclusion and equity. As a high school student, you have to go through, uh, you have to deal with Islamophobia and stuff like that and how them recognizing Eid could help eliminate that. The executive board of director for the Islamic Center of Connecticut says families should be together on this holy day. I just think it would be the most fair decision for them to give us Eid. Now the next board meeting will be on November 29th where the students plan to speak again in Fairfield. The Board of Education is expected to make a decision on this in December. In the studio, Karen Pinto, News 12 Connecticut.